Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the F-100 show, and I came across a 1963 Ford F-100 I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Roger, what a cool truck, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a little 63 Ford, so it's uh, just something that wanted something a little They're bit unique. different. They're unique, it's not like you see right. a bunch of these. Well, this truck here, I didn't know when I bought it, and the guy that I bought it from didn't know it, but when I looked at it, the bed didn't match, so I thought they'd put another bed on it. So a guy told me, he said, well, you know the history of this truck. And I said, well, not really. I said, I know the bed don't match. And he said, well, he said, that bed came from a factory that way. When they went from a unibody in 63, in 61 and 62, they had unibodies. So they built a 63. They didn't have no beds for them. They had 300 left from 58. So that was one of the trucks that got a 58 bed, so they call it the uh, wrong bed went right. Well, that's a good looking so, truck. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you couldn't be any more right. lucky. Thank so you. there's only 300 of those out there. Right, right. Or the possibility. I right. doubt there's that many left right. now. Mm -hmm. Have you, you've not been a Ford man all your life. You work for NASCAR. Yeah. What about all them Chevrolet teams? What'd they say when you was going to well, build a Ford? Well, they just give me trouble, you know. So, But Jack Roush, he always wanted me to come to work, so we're Roush, so. But I was Larry McReynolds' as car chief, so right. I did. Uh, I stayed with Larry and stuff. So worked for Kenny Bernstein, the drag racer. He had a cup team, so we started with him. Well, he had a Ford. The uh, his funny car was a Ford Tempo. Right. But he got with a Buick. Our cup car was was Quaker State Buick. So we went from there. So. I've just always been a GM man till mm -hmm. this here. So trucks now, are different, though. You, we they all know are. That. Oh, you can yeah. be a GM man like a Ford truck or a Dodge right, truck. Right, right. And Jack cheated. He like gave you the motor when he figured out what you were thinking right, of doing, right? Right, right. I mean, how do you tell Jack? No, I, I'm not gonna need right. that, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. How cool is that? What motor is it? That's a 310 cubic inch. It's a Stroker motor, 351 Windsor. It's a Stroker motor. Who made that intake? That's custom, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think Jack and I think they did the intake. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And then you wanted to do it in patina, or is that just the way the truck worked? Yeah, out? no, the truck that was original paint, and it was uh, the paint was nice. But I wanted the old school stuff, so the patina. So the guys at uh, a body shop over in Greenville, South Carolina, they wanted to do the help with the patina, so that's where it started. So. But everything's you know, uh, like from door handle to door handle, if you look, everything matches. Right. It wasn't just sanded and made look like it'd been not taken care of. Not taken care of, yeah. but everything is 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 it uh I think it's probably more of a worn look than a patina look, right? Because there's is. no rust on it. Right. It's just where the paint different yeah. colors have wore off and right. all that. Is yeah. What yeah. you were trying to achieve there. Right. So but it's uh I put a crown vic front end, it's got a crown vic front end under it and so I C notch the rear end and put four link, put uh, power four wheel disc brakes and it's a. Uh, is the air is the front on air? Yes, uh, it's all corners, four okay. four corners okay. on there. So, what about the interior? That's nice. Uh, yeah, but uh, there's an interior shop over in the house. I wanted this uh, them King Ranch like leathers in yeah. a King Ranch yeah. truck, so that's uh, rustic leather. So I was doing it and then. Somebody said, well, let's put a dinosaur in the V in the seat. So we put the dinosaur in the seat. So she's a full-blown Sinclair. Sinclair, mm -hmm. company truck. What right. about tires and wheels? What size are they? Well, it's got 17s by 7s on the front and 18 by 9 and a half on the rear. Yeah. Well, two fifty, uh, two thirty-fives on the front and two fifty-fives on the rear. Good looking truck, brother. Thank you. I doubt Dale would be happy with you. Oh, I know he <laughs> right? mm -hmm. I doubt he'd be happy right. with you, but the rest of us think you did pretty right. good. Thank you, sir. Now, mm -hmm. thanks for giving me some time today, Yes, brother. sir. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So there you go from the F-100 show, a 1963 Ford F-100. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.